piece of our shoes. If you want to know how, to, how I did them, yeah, I'll explain it. <laughs> Let's go. So basically, what you're going to do first is remove the laces and basically if you're making them for yourself, so your shoe size, if you're making it not for yourself, other shoe sizes, I use white shoes, so you can use whatever you want. Basically, I took the laces out and then I drew the logo using a reference picture. I did a draw the house using a reference picture, and this was actually sort of hard to get the, the top of the house right, but and the window. But I think it turned out okay. Yeah, so I messed up this logo heaps of times. As you can see, it's not even on center. It is you draw your logo on, or the words, or what you want it to say. And I outlined mine in a Sharpie pen. So like a felt tip pen because I outlined it and um, I based then I got duct tape probably use any tape sort of tape that would work and I just taped over this part and the, the white part taped over those parts and then I started with the rainbow galaxy basically I just I uh, looked at the picture I was trying to sort of get inspiration from and I just sort of did the thing and I have some footage of me painting it and I didn't really like it at first but now I sort of do it looks pretty cool so yeah and um, basically you just go over you might need a couple coats in some places and just try to blend the colors in um, as best you can and um, you know I just sort of at the end glad in this I got a toothbrush my little mermaid toothbrush and I got gold paint and white paint and I did that with the um the toothbrush to create those little specks because I didn't really like the way it looked with just the colours. So and I wanted a galaxy effect and I didn't really galaxy effect so I added the little things and then after that I went um went over stuff with pen again because it sort of came off from the duct tape that was covering it and basically yeah and so what I did is I got a tiny tiny small black paintbrush and I filled in the letters with black paint and I sort of messed up a bit so then I covered that up with white paint and it was sort of because I wasn't planning to keep the white I was planning to fill all that in but I didn't, it was going to be way too messy and I'd have to fix up the lettering so I just left it white so I had to fix the white outline to make it look a bit more um, presentable so then I added the colours um, around here and I covered that up so I think it's pretty neat now and I just sort of got some methylated spirits and rubbed it on wherever the paint may have gone through the tape to get that all sort of looking decent as you can see yeah, maybe the colors stayed a bit more and yeah for the and I kept um shopping bags like plastic bags shoved in there to keep the shape up while I was painting it and with the house I basically yeah and these sort of look like flames a bit and I just got a paintbrush and sort of mixed the colors to try to get it and yeah and then with the house I basically just got um, light blue for the windows and then sort of it was sort of like a um, mustardy colour and I mixed it with white to make that sort of stuff and then I mixed a greenish colour as well and just did that and then went over again with the, um, a sharpie pen to, okay this is not working, okay. I went over with the sharpie pen to fill in all the black stuff because otherwise that's going to get way too messy. So the blacks or pen. And I just covered that in, outlined it, and then I wrote the words. It's super small, but it says, Darling, you'll be okay. I'm gonna um, hold on for me. Because I really like that song, so yeah. And basically, once I did that, I cleaned up all the edges again in case any paint got on them. And yeah, well, after that, I got uh, a spray, a uh, water and stain repellent spray, and I sprayed it three times. And I made sure to get like the tongue of the shoe as well. So yeah, and then some of the parts are put a but you can't really see. So yeah, those these are my shoes. My shoes, and they are a bit big, so I haven't really worn them yet. So yeah. 
I used. I didn't buy any more paint. These literally only cost me five bucks to make and a lot of hard work and time. So this only cost five dollars. Because I already had all the paint and I mixed a lot of paints as well. So yeah, hopefully they look cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!